Hey everyone, Amy Witcher here. Welcome back to NFL Fan Table on SugarBang.com. My co-host this week is Cleveland Brown fan extraordinaire, Miss Laura Wendell. Go Browns! Yeah! Welcome back. Unfortunately, this week it's another episode of Loser Edition. <laughs> We're both losers this week with the Browns and Saints having lost. Ethan would have joined us because his Cowboys lost, but he's still riding that... World Series high, so go Cardinals. There you go. Oh, that's baseball. Yeah, right. Back to football. Okay, so we're losers, but Laura, you had a huge off-field win this week. Please tell us. Probably actually the biggest win I've had in the last three years of being a Browns fan. <laughs> I was tailgating up at the 49er Stadium where the Browns were playing and just sitting in the trunk of my car, <laughs> which is like drinking a beer. <laughs> Can we talk about why you sit in the trunk of your car? Because I just wanted shade. Okay. Everything <laughs> else was just shady. Okay, that's an umbrella. Of there sorts. we go. There you go. Okay. Sitting in the trunk, all of a sudden these this lovely couple comes up to me and says, Can I look at the back of your jersey? I'm like, Of course. <laughs> Proud to wear this jersey number ninety nine. Yeah. Turn around and I said, This is my number one man, Scott Fujita. And there's they said, We're his parents. I was like, What? Can I please take Amazing. a picture? Amazing. And you yes. see the picture. Wow. Yay. Super happy. Super thrilled. That is so fun. Yeah. Oh my God. Hi, happy Laura. I don't know. <laughs> Best part of my day. Best part of the Browns year so far. Oh, that's so fun. See, that's very exciting. It's you exciting. Not only is it exciting, these are these are heroes right here. This is these were like my hero, <laughs> Scott Fujita's heroes. So, so that's pretty that's cool. Big. That's, that's a huge. big win. That's a big win. And they came up to you. They, they came saw up your to me. Custom jersey. Custom, which I did get made after the Browns yeah. beat the Saints <laughs> last year. FYI. Yes, I remember that game. That was also an edition of Loser Edition. Oh, yes, and while the Browns God. did lose, you know, it was clouded over. So yeah, you thank you, day. Scott Pagina's parents, for making my day much better. That is exciting. Congratulations. Yes. So thank fun. You. Thank they you. came up to you. Hi, Hughes. Yes. That's so fun. They definitely did. Yeah, yeah. So congrats to the 49er fans, because I got a couple ex-boyfriends who love the 49ers, so congrats, fellas. You guys are, I don't know, are they like 6 and 3 now or something? I don't even know. I don't even know. Because <sighs> all I Anyways, know. Anyways, the Browns are 3 and 4. Yep. Which, you know, at least it's a better record than the Miami Dolphins. Yes. And uh, the St. Louis Rams. Duh! <laughs> Boo! Wait, yeah. Amy, Amy, how many wins do the Rams have? One. <laughs> and who did they beat? <laughs> oh, this is painful. Um, hold on one second, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one hurt. I'm not going to lie. Every Saints fan, every Saints player, everyone knows that hurt to get the shit kicked out of you in St. Louis on Sunday. Look, we're a much better team, but coming off a game where we scored 62 points, and then that, ugh, I felt like I was getting punched in the throat repeatedly for like four quarters, and the only way I could even deal with after that game, I rallied some gays, went straight to the mall, and bought myself an iPad. Yeah, that's what you do. When it gets ugly, shit gets ugly, go to the mall. Go shopping. I did. And that's how bad it was. Download oh. Tap Reef. <laughs> Oh my God. That app's the best. <laughs> Laura loves her apps where she can go feed her digital fish every day or whatever all that's about. <laughs> so. And speaking of losing money, <laughs> I lost. Thank you, Tom Brady. Oh, I know, right? The uh, loss against the Steelers. That really helped my bank account. <laughs> he owes you money, basically. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah you're like one of his baby mamas. What? Yes. <laughs> no. And Dallas lost, too. Dallas lost. lost Poor but, Ethan. Yeah. That's a rough one. Yeah, my fantasy team, I lost again. Um, but I actually lost to a team... Yeah, that hadn't won all season. Wow, that sounds familiar. My Come fantasy on. life is now in symbiotic terms with my real life. It's <laughs> fucking painful, I gotta tell you. Five and three. Boo! Okay. Transitioning <laughs> over to gifts. <laughs> yes, because in San Francisco, Sunday, we picked up this fine pin mm -hmm. from the pin selling man in the parking lot. <laughs> it was <lot>. a pin seller. <laughs> It's two of Please. Amy's favorite things. Coca-Cola products and the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, so you can see this pin right above my lady parts. And it is... <laughs> <laughs> and it is wonderful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. She called me from the parking lot in San Francisco to tell me the Fujita parents story. And then I told her that the Saints were losing. And then she bought me a pin. So there you go. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Yes, definitely. <laughs> we also got these fabulous cupcakes oh, yeah. from Joanna. And they have these fancy rings on them. What? Look familiar? What? Yeah, Ethan, this is the ring that you thought came from cake. It totally comes from cake <laughs> because they brought me a dozen of them tonight. Amazing. So thanks to 
Joe and Laura for the awesome gifts. And keep them coming because whew, it's only week eight. You guys just have a lot more football. And I don't want to lose anymore, but the gifts will just make it all that much better, right? Definitely. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so where are the Browns this weekend? They are playing the Texans. Please pray for us. <laughs> <laughs> the Saints are home against the Buccaneers. Please pray for the Buccaneers because it's about to go down. I will be in the Superdome on Sunday. We'll be back next week. Thanks, you guys. I'm Emma Richard. This is Miss Laura Wendell. Who that?